Oh, he's coming right after him now. Yeah, see, he knows he needs to just make it a suck bass. He's gonna get dropped again. He's testing his chin, and that's just not a good way to do it. Max, Max has got the chin. It, Max box. Oh, I told you! I fucking told you you don't do that. What'd you think was gonna happen? <laughs> What? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a form of insanity. You don't go out there when you've already been dropped once by somebody. And that, -wee. Second round's always the best because everybody's had their feeling out process. I call it busting that net process. You bust a net, you're back in there for round two. She's ready for you, she's hot and bothered. And she's like, I'm ready for round two, baby, let's get it. You know you're gonna last longer. Oh shit, he got him! Oh, he's still in there. Oh, he's going for the choke. Look at that anaconda. Very nice. Look at that. There you go. Keep with it, Max. There you go. There you go. There you, go. you got it. You got it. There you go. Holy shit, that man can last a long time. Oh, he's coming right out there now. Yeah, see, he knows he needs to just make it a suck bass. He's going to get dropped again. He's testing his chin, and that's just not a good way to do it. Max, Max has got the chin. It's Max box. Oh, I told you! I I told you you don't do that. What'd you think was gonna happen? <laughs> what? Ladies and gentlemen, that is a form of insanity. You don't go out there when you've already been dropped once by somebody. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's Max Holloway's for you. That's the blessed train, the blessed ex express. But you know what? The Korean zombie, he's always fought like that. That's where he got the name, the zombie. comes forward. Typically, he's able to overwhelm people with his strikes and finish them. But ladies and gentlemen, you can't do that to Max Holloway. He, the, the, the best boxer in the UFC. One of the best chains in the UFC. I mean, there is nothing smart about what Korean zombie did. Maybe he did that as a last ditch effort is like, fuck it, we're just, we're just gonna go and see what happens. Um, but I, I would advise him to do something different, mix it up, let's see the replay here. He goes in super explosive, trying to get to him. Max makes the right read, he gives him the right distance. Looking, he's keeping going forward, Max is still countering back and forth, landed better, most of the shots. That overhand right landed, and here comes the final ring right here. Wham, right on the temple. And they exchange too, but Max is in a better position to precipitate the energy where Korean zombies like this. That is not a position you want to take a shot right here. Where Max is in that pocket. Max stays. Look at his right hand. That's all he up. His right hand's up right there. Wham! Lands perfect. Clean overhand right by Max. And he knew it was over. He knew it was out. We just got done watching Max Holloway versus Korean Zombie. What an epic fight. Congratulations to Kareem Zami on a beautiful career. Enjoy retirement. You got a beautiful family, beautiful children. Uh, let's recap the whole entire fight. It's one of the things I love to do. First round, uh, no shocker, a boxing match. Uh, they did exchange leg kicks to begin with to find that distance because they both have mutual respect for each other. They've both been around the game for a very, very long time. <clears throat> uh, first round, I felt it was almost even. I would give the edge to Max Holloway because he did land more punches. Nobody really got hurt in the first round, I felt like. Second round, you saw a huge shift in the fight where Max Holloway drops Korean Zombie, which this was expected from my part because Korean Zombie, he kind of keeps his head in his box. You know, when, when you're fighting, you want to have some type of form of rhythm. Like whether your shoulders are moving, or your head's moving, right? If you keep your head in this box, the target, your target, my head is an easy target, right? But if I'm always moving on an X and a Y axis, Y, X, moving, trying to make that, it keeps my head in motion. So if I d slip a jab, it's easier to slip it instead of going here and going there, right? That's one of the things I didn't really like with you know, the Korean zombie, he would stay there and wait like this. Wait, wait, wait. So when Max would strike, he would be able to pull his head back and land the right hand. Kind of what Sugar Sean did to Aljamain Sterling. But the biggest difference is Max is a better striker than 
Aljamain Sterling. He actually comes across distance. He's longer, so he can get away with a lot more, uh, a lot of things. <clears throat> but second round, Max drops screens on me. Pretty much in the very beginning, locks in a beautiful choke. Uh, Darius or Anaconda, depending on which way it is, locks it in, almost finishes him with it. But Kareem Zombie did a good job extending his arms, keeping Max's hips away, because once Max able to, you know, curl up like an anaconda or a snake, then that's when the choke is gonna be successful. Don't worry, that's my sister clearing her. Oh, my daughter clearing her throat, don't, don't mind her. Uh, so, but Korean Zombie survives around. Max does a good job transitioning into knee ride, and then they went into a little clinch, clinch game going on. Then the round pretty much ended, nothing else happened after that round. Third round was definitely way more exciting. All three rounds are exciting, but this is where I felt Korean Zombie made up his mind. He felt he's probably down in the scorecards. He wanted to change something up. And that's where you see Korean Zombie just bum rush. Bum rush, put the pressure on Max Holloway, which is a bad thing to do because Max isn't a guy to retreat. Max is a guy who bites on the mouthpiece, goes in the shell, and he throws clean counters, clean counters, left hook, open hand right, jab. And that's what he did. And that's where he found that shot. Because once you go for broke, you are essentially opening yourself up to counters. And if you look at Max Holloway's past, when he fought Ricardo Lamas, when he fought Jose Aldo, I mean, the list just goes on on how many guys that Max Holloway has stand and banged with and been able to walk away clean, cleaner than the other athlete, right? So beautiful right hand from Max Holloway. He was in the pocket, came here through the overhand right, landed when uh, Korean Zombie was extended. They exchanged, but the difference why Max had to go, go down is because he was in a better position to precipitate the energy than when Korean Zombie threw his, he was like this, and that punch landed. <clears throat> so, amazing fight. Congratulations to Max Holloway, GG's brothers. I hope everything is good in Hawaii. Tell Rush we said hello. Now, what's next? Uh, the Korean Zombie just announced a retirement. Uh, you know what? Korean Zombie's been fighting for a very, very long time. WEC, me and him fought on the same card. i never forget when he fought uh, Leonard Garcia, and I was in the hospital with Brad Pickett with a broken hand, and we're like, man, me and Brad were like, man, we got the, we got the bonus. We got the $65,000 bonus. Then those two guys go out there, and they, they get the bonus. They put on an absolute banger. Uh... And yeah, look forward to retirement. I think the biggest thing as an athlete is that day is going to come for all of us, right? Whether we go off into the sunset as a champion on top, or do we let the game retire us where we're not as successful anymore and we get beat up, we take too much damage, right? That's a hard thing us athletes struggle with. It's like, when is it the right time to walk away? And I think this was a perfect time for him to walk away. Obviously, <clears throat> he had a long uh, hiatus before this fight, and he just came up, he just got knocked out. He's been knocked out multiple times. And I, I think it's a smart thing to do. I think there's nothing left for him to prove. Obviously, he wants to be a world champion. Um, and that's okay, he's never achieved that. But as long as he's happy with his career, he's got his health, he's got his wife, he's got his kids. Um, I'm sure he's a superstar in Korea. So I think, if anything, this is a perfect time for him to go out there's no reason for him to, to take any more damage. Now, let's go on to the man of the hour, the man of the week. Max Holloway, what does he do next? Well, he has a lot of options. Max is one of those guys who's been fighting for a very, very long time. Former featherweight champion. He's come up short against Volkanovski three times. But people love to watch Max fight. When people love to watch you fight, that means you can always make money from fighting. So for him, it's kind of hard because that featherweight division is a kind of mix up, right? What if, I know Aljamain Sterling has talked about going up to 145. What if Aljamain Sterling fought Max Holloway? The grappler versus the striker. That would be an interesting matchup because, yeah, it would be a very interesting matchup. Very, very interesting mass matchup. But we have no idea. I, I feel like the featherweight landscape has not been laid out as clean as the other divisions. 
But whatever Max does, you know, I'll be tuning in and breaking down his fights because I'm a big fan of his. <clears throat> so ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, subscribe. Also hit the bell to know when we go live. And please get active. Leave a comment in the comment section because I go through and respond back to you guys. And yeah, man, what an amazing fight. Amazing career by Korean Zombie and Max Holloway. Go home, get healthy, and uh, can we see you next, baby. Peace.